Rutgers is a place where there is little, if any, freedom of speech for those who disagree with a liberal agenda. Aaron Marcus is a student columnist for the Daily Targum, Rutgers' official newspaper, and a sometimes guest on national news shows and forums like this one with the conservative youth group. His column in the Targum is mostly given to pro-Israeli sentiment. You can debate whether or not he's just a student. Still, Aaron says he did not write the column titled, What About the Good Things Hitler Did? That appeared under his name in The Medium, a satirical student-run publication. He says that some of the stuff in it, like giving Hitler credit for inspiring Jews to form a Jewish state, damaged his good name. Andrew Getrea, who runs the Rutgers Hillel, a center for Jewish student life on campus, agrees. I think that a student who has a public presence on campus is still a student. Getrea says he can appreciate satire when he sees it, but... If you're going to satirize a student, it should be clear that it is satire. In this case, they represented an article exactly the way that Aaron's picture and his column are in the normal campus newspaper. On campus, students we spoke to seemed to have missed the satire part of the medium satire and wondered if something akin to hate speech was hiding behind the First Amendment. Well, banning is a very, very strong step, so I, I wouldn't endorse that. But uh, there are certainly stories and things that the medium could publish that would be unacceptable. Does that mean the university should be supporting a group that wants to have those ideas? Should they publish articles saying that black people shouldn't vote? No. Should they publish articles about Muhammad? No. But why is it okay for them to publish an article making fun of Jews? Journalism professor Ron Miskoff, one of the medium's faculty advisors, says the editors do recognize that their attempt at April Fool's humor missed the mark but that those calling for restrictions on student publications missed the point. In rights of expression, uh, the Supreme Court has ruled many times that campuses uh, deserve even more free speech than out in the general public. And uh, the medium uh, always likes to test the edges of where that freedom is. As one of the people we spoke to today said, this is a university and everything should be a teaching moment. Engaging from the reaction from some of the students we spoke to today, the lesson seems to be the First Amendment is cool, but especially on a college campus, it should probably have some limits. In New Brunswick, I'm David Cruz, NJ Today.